my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday, so that means it is grocery haul day. And I had to do some shopping. I actually went to three stores this week. I went to Trader Joe's, Fred Meyer, and I also made a big haul at Costco. My bi-weekly, monthly, whatever it ends up being, that's what I picked up from my local Costco. So I have quite the haul for you this week. I'm also going to share with you what I am doing for meal prep, as well as what's on my menu for the week for dinners. So let's jump right into this week's My WW Grocery Haul. I'm around from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. So my first stop was Trader Joe's, mainly again for some produce, but I did find a couple new fun things. So let's jump into Trader Joe's. First I picked up this blue hyacinth from a woman owned company. It's in this cute little glass vase and it's going to flower to be one of these beautiful hyacinths. It was $2.99 at Trader Joe's and I thought that it would just bring a little color into my life while I'm stuck at home and I thought it was really cute. It would be a great gift for Mother's Day or Easter. And then I'm always picking these up because I love them. These are the Trader Joe's organic milk chocolate caramel eggs. I love these. They're individually wrapped. So portion control is super easy. And they are two smart, I'm sorry, three smart points per chocolate egg. Oh, they're so delicious. So I picked up another bag of that. Also some instant coffee. I'm going to try that whipped coffee that's all over TikTok. I don't have TikTok, but I actually saw it on YouTube where you whip it with instant coffee. So we shall see. I'm probably going to do that on Sunday. So you'll see that in my what I eat in a video next week. So I grabbed some instant coffee from Trader Joe's. I also picked up some more of the Applegate smoked turkey breast. It's the best price at Trader Joe's. It's about $1.50 less than anywhere else. This is zero points on both blue and purple. It's organic. It's delicious. I love it. And then another thing of the Trader Joe's organic feta because we've been using feta a lot on salads and I plan on making some more salads this next week. Also some unsweetened applesauce. They have organic for a really good price at Trader Joe's. I actually need this for a couple of recipes and everything else is produce starting with this freaking ginormous papaya when I got up to the checkout he says that's the biggest papaya I've ever seen so I'm really excited about that I've really been enjoying papaya as a fruit so I picked that up I needed both a lemon and a green granny smith apple for a recipe I also needed some baby spinach for a recipe and then I grabbed this organic baby lettuce mix so that I can make some salads this next week Asparagus, of course. I like their organic asparagus and it's super affordable. Also, some organic tomatoes on the vine. I did need some tomatoes for recipes. Bananas, I need this for a recipe. And then I also wanted to have these so I can get these really, really ripe to make smoothies. And last but not least, a big five pound bag of the organic red potatoes. I was happy that this bag has a bunch of the little ones. Those are my favorite to roast up in the air fryer or the oven. So that is everything that I picked up for the week at Trader Joe's. Next up is Costco. It's been a couple weeks and I needed a few things for the house. I decided to show you guys everything I picked up because you always say, show us everything even if it's not food. So the only thing missing is a case of Coors Light. My husband's already put that away. So let's take a look at Costco's grocery haul for the week. First I grabbed these shoes. So I bought a pair of these last year at Costco and I really like them. They have kind of a tennis shoe sole, but they're a sandal. They're really, really comfortable. They're great if you wanna go on a little walk, like if you're camping, they're awesome. And they're on sale right now for $10. So I couldn't pass them up. They look pretty similar to the ones I got last year, but. 10 bucks. I told my husband, you can't pass up sandals for $10. Also, I needed to restock my fabric softener. So I went ahead and grabbed some bounce. We have some organic butternut squash. I need this for a recipe. And this is honestly one of my favorite things to just roast up. It's so delicious. And it's such a great price at Costco. Also organic blueberries. I decided to do blueberries and papaya for fruits for the week. So I picked those up. Best price again for organic right now out of season at Costco. Some more eggs. We've been loving these Wilcox Omega-3 eggs. These are so good. And it's only $6 for two dozen, which is generally what I pay for one dozen at the grocery store. Also, I found these. These are the Sabentino's Paleo Organic 
basil and chicken cracked pepper sausages. Don't these look so good? These are only four points. And I thought with the weather being as beautiful as it is right now, we could grill these up on the grill. You could put mix this in with pasta or veggies. So I grabbed those. I thought no, might as well get them while I see them at Costco. Also some frozen fruit. I found this organic, a pear fit peach blend. So it has pear, peaches, pineapples, and blueberries. I don't like the blackberries in my smoothies because the seeds are always left behind and I just don't like that. So I picked this one up. I thought this would be a good blend for smoothies. Restocked my minced garlic because apparently we love this. With two people in our house, we went through this in just a few months. So apparently we really like our garlic. So I grabbed that less than five bucks at Costco. Restocked my vitamins. This time I picked up the calcium because they were on sale. My husband loves ketchup, clearly. I do not eat ketchup. And if I do, I prefer the Primal Kitchen, no sugar added. But these were like $9 for three of them at Costco. So I went ahead and grabbed them for him. Also a killer price is the Kirkland Organic Raw Honey. It's both organic and raw and you get three bears for $10.99. That is such a fantastic price. So I had to pick that up. Grabbed another one of my Chosen Foods mayos just to have in the pantry. My husband really likes this mayonnaise, so I've been making all of his sandwiches with it as well. And we no longer buy any other mayo, so I picked that up. And last but not least, heartburn meds. Gotta have them. So that's everything from Costco. So let's jump into my last stop, which was my local Fred Meyer or Kroger store. Here is my haul from Fred Meyer. I'm gonna show you everything for my family, my husband and myself. Some of it obviously I don't eat, but I wanted to share it with you guys because we all eat different things. So I wanted to give you the points on some of the other snack type of things that I pick up for my husband. So let's take a look at Fred Meyer. So I picked up some sponges so that I can wash my dishes. Also some canned food. I have some garbanzo beans for a recipe and also some of the Simple Truth organic lentils for a recipe. Also, I needed poppy seeds, and I was going to get these in the bulk section. Well, there is nothing in the bulk section right now, so I had to pay $4 for what I need of poppy seeds. But that's okay. We'll have it on hand for other recipes. Also, I needed some almond extract, so I just grabbed this Kroger brand imitation almond flavoring. Picked up another bag of the Kali Power New Chick on the Block. We love these. My husband even likes these. So we've been putting these on salads. If you aren't part of my website, definitely go over and join over on my website. I have a couple of really good salad recipes that I use this crunchy chicken on. So check out my website for sure, and we have been loving this. Also grabbed a little ham. This is an uncured ham. We got this so that we can have ham on Easter. Just even though we're not having Easter, we decided to do a traditional Easter dinner and go ahead and have ham. Also some stew meat. And of course, I can't find any red meat that's organic other than one store in my town. And just with everything going on, I didn't want to go to more stores than necessary. So I went ahead and picked up some stew meat and they had zero ground turkey that was organic. So I just picked up some Kroger, 99%. There's a recipe that I add zucchini to the turkey burger and it makes it nice and moist. So I figured since I can't buy organic, let's go with 99%. So it's zero points. A couple of yogurts. I just grabbed some too good. They didn't really have much for yogurt. I was looking for more of a full fat, but I thought these would be good just to have on hand. So I have a coconut and a vanilla. I did find though the Maple Hill Organic 100% grass fed whole milk unsweetened Greek yogurt. You guys, this is almost $7. That's so crazy to me. You can buy non-fat for a lot cheaper, but I only eat the full fat. So $7 it is. So I grabbed that. I like this in smoothies, smoothie bowls, in my quinoa bowls. Just really like to have some full fat yogurt. Also picked up kombucha. I wanted to have this tomorrow uh, just to have it. So I grabbed a gingerberry kombucha. Four pack of cut green beans. These are for the two furry critters in my family. They get green beans when we have dinner in place of table scraps. So I just picked up four cans. Also for my husband, he loves these little bags of the circus animals. You guys have seen me haul these before. These are great if you have kids. They're great for a lunch. They're individually wrapped, so it makes it easy and portion controlled. So I grabbed those. And then I grabbed him some waffles so that he doesn't eat my Vans waffles. So he said, then get me my regular Eggos and I won't eat yours. So here we are with regular Eggo buttermilk waffles. 
some bread for my husband. I grabbed the sweet Hawaiian because he's actually having ham sandwiches. And I thought this would be really good to have kind of a sweeter bread with the ham. Speaking of ham, I grabbed a pound of the private selection black forest ham and that's for my husband's lunches. I have a spaghetti squash here that's for a recipe some frozen carrots uh, for a recipe and then I also grabbed the little bites party you know my husband loves these as well so those are for his lunch and everything else is some produce so I have some organic green onions for a recipe some organic collard greens I'd actually never bought collard greens so I really didn't even know what I was looking for so these are the organic collards I also grabbed organic golden beets look at these suckers these are huge and I need beets for a recipe and you guys the, these are so affordable I paid over three dollars for little tiny ones at my health food store and it was three dollars for this big bunch of organics at Fred Meyer so that is a fantastic deal so that's everything that I picked up at Fred Meyer oh I think I got some paper plates too but that is everything for the week so let's jump into this week's meal plan meal prep and let's go through that Cariel meal planner Guys, I forgot to show you these. I picked these up also at Costco. They were in a bag that I missed. Oh my gosh, hello. So I grabbed another bag of the Inno Foods Coconut Clusters. You guys know that I absolutely love these. I eat about a half of a serving at a time because they are a little bit higher in points. But oh my gosh, I love these so much. They are literally made with really, really good ingredients. And then look what I found, organic crispy coconut rolls. Now, these are not the same as the ones I used to buy. So I don't know what the points are. I have a feeling they might be a little bit higher, but I'm here for the coconut rolls. So I grabbed these two things too while I was at Costco. So here's this week's menu plan. We have the week of April 11th through April 17th. So starting today, Saturday, we go out to dinner. We've been trying to support a local restaurant by doing some sort of takeout or pickup while we're under quarantine. So we're going to do that. Tomorrow, I'm making asparagus quinoa salad with feta. I'm really excited about this. I think I may pair this with chicken. My husband is not the biggest fan of quinoa, so I'm hoping that he'll eat this. Let's hope. And then Monday is going to be leftovers. Tuesday, I'm going to be doing spaghetti squash meatball casserole. This sounds so good. Again, I can't wait for this. On Wednesday, I'm going to be doing lentil salad with beets. That's what I picked that big packet of golden beets up. Now, my husband doesn't like beets either. So again, I'm hoping he'll eat this. We'll probably pair this with some sort of chicken or maybe those sausages I picked up at Costco. Thursday's leftover night and Friday, I'm going to be doing an instant pot beef stew. That's what I picked up the beef chunks for. And then on the back of the weekly menu is where I plan out my meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be doing baked oatmeal cups. These sound so good. A clean eating, delicious breakfast. Lunch is going to be turkey meatballs with onions and apples. I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting meatballs again. You guys know I love meatballs. And I thought this was a little different with onions and apples. For a snack, and this I'm really excited about, I'm gonna be making lemon poppy seed bread. So you guys have to stay tuned for this on Monday. This recipe is so low points, you're, you're not even gonna believe it. And then I'm gonna make some crock pot marinara, so I'll probably show you guys that as well in case you haven't seen me make the skinniest dish crock pot marinara. So that is what is on the plan for meal prep. These are my dinners for the upcoming week. So now let's do a quick walk through the Cariel meal planner. So this is the Carrie L. This is one of the brand new covers that was released in 2020. You guys, I love my Carrie L so much. You know that this is the second one that I've purchased. This is basically what this looks like. It has several tabs and resources for you, starting with the resources tab. This is where you can jot down your favorite meal planning blogs, recipe sites. Make sure you put jenswwjourney.com right there because that is my recipe website. Next up is the inventory tab. This is where you can inventory your freezer so you can write down the item and the date that that item was frozen. You can also do your pantry, the item and the expiration date, and your spices. So again, I wrote my spices that I don't use very often. I wrote the expiration date so that I could at a glance know what I need to throw out and buy new of in my spice cabinet. So I really like the inventory section. And then there's the yellow tab, which is the meal plans. That's the tab that we were just under. So let me go to the current month here and I'll show you guys kind of what I do. So there is a month at a glance. So I write down all of my dinners 
for the entire month. That way, the night before, I can take a look, make sure I have the ingredients, number one, and two, that I pull out anything out of my freezer, like meat, that needs to come out of the freezer for that night's dinner. I also always include a couple of extra recipes in case one of my leftover nights, there isn't any leftover, so I always have some backup recipes as well. And then each week, you have a weekly menu. You'll jot down, you can do all your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, for the entire week, there is a detachable grocery list. You'll notice that every week, this is this current week, mine's missing because that is my grocery list that I take with me to the grocery store. So it's really easy. Everything is in one area for you, easy to plan and stay on track. Then there's the gatherings tab. Now this looks extremely similar to the meal planning tab because this is for you to plan events. So Easter, 4th of July, birthday parties, you can write down all of the food, including what you need for your kids and supplies and then again a detachable grocery list for you to take to the store last tab is the notes tab and of course those are just some really pretty note pages for you to take some notes and then in the very back is a two-sided kind of like a peachy from remember those remember those from school like a peachy a folder and i always just put my recipes for the week in there and that way they're right on hand when i go to make the dinner so that is my carry l meal planner you guys if you need some help planning and staying on track making sure you have what you need on hand highly recommend i do have 10 percent off i will put that here on the screen you actually have to click the link in the description box and then at checkout enter my code but you do have to go through my link down below in order to get the discount but highly highly recommend thank you for joining me on another weekly my ww grocery haul Whew, we did some shopping, my friends. We did some shopping, but I am stocked up for the week. I have some excellent recipes coming out that I'm super excited about. Make sure that you do head over and take a look at my website. Again, I'll put that here on the screen for you. Click that description box as well so that you can head over to my website, join my Facebook group, and see all the links and discount codes to some of my favorite things. They're all right below this video in the description box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love it if you'd stick around. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button and that bell just so you're notified whenever a new video is posted. You don't want to miss out. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're most excited about for this week's meal plan. You guys will see meal prep up on Monday as always. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll see you in my next video.